What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we will be checking out a really cool VPK called Media Importer. Basically, what this VPK lets you do is install music directly to your official PS Vita's music app and your official PS Vita's videos app. This is really useful if you want to use that plugin where you can play music in the background. This is also useful if you want to add music and videos to your device without the need of QCMA. As you guys know, QCMA is a bit hit or miss. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. It is a bit annoying to get it working each time, but importing music and videos using this app is actually very simple. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Uh, just keep in mind that this does not work with an SD to Vita. The reason why is because music and videos are not supported on the official apps. So if you do have an SD to Vita, there are other apps where you can listen to videos and music uh, but these ones are mainly um, just for using music in the background I did a video about that maybe a couple of weeks ago I'll put a link to that in the description if you guys want to check that out but what we're going to do first to get this app installed is we're going to go ahead and we are going to open up Vita Shell. We need to connect our PS Vita to our computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to press select we're going to go and connect it and then we can install the app. So here we are on the official GitHub and this is the app that I'm talking about. It's called Media Importer and it's actually very useful. If we just scroll down to the latest version, which is 0.91 and just click on the assets drop down list, we can actually find the VPK. So all you guys want to do is just click on the VPK and it's going to start downloading and we can find this in our downloads folder. Now the setup for this thing is very simple and it actually tells you how to do it here. Um, you just put your music in the music folder on the UXO and and you put your videos in the video folder on the UXO. So I'll be showing you guys how to do it anyway, but that's pretty much how simple it is to set up. All right guys, so in my downloads folder, I've got my music folder and this has just got a couple of songs on which I want to add. And I've also got my video folder. I've just got some Adventure Time demo video just to show you guys how it works. And then of course, we've got the VPK. So just make sure your PS Vita is connected to your computer. Click on it, go to the view tab at the top and we're just gonna enable hidden items. This is so we can find the music folder and the video folder. Then if we just go back to our downloads folder, we're simply just gonna copy all of these files onto the root of our PS Vita. Now you can drag the music into the music folder, it pretty much just works the same. If you've already got them in folders in your downloads then it doesn't matter, you can just do what I did. And then if we go into our music folder, so this one right here, we will find the mp3s in here. And also if we go into our video folder, we will find the videos in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Media Importer. We're going to import all of our songs and videos into our official apps and we can see if they work back off the computer you need to go and find where your app is so mine is in my uxo and then i'm just going to scroll down and let's just have a look and here it is media importer.vpk obviously press x and then press x one more time to install package files if it comes up this message also press x and then it's just going to start installing Right guys, so once it's installed, all we can do is press circle to go back to the menu and then we're just going to simply close down Vita Shell. Make sure your music app and video app are completely closed down and then we can go and start up the media importer. So it's actually very easy to use. Once you press X to start it up, it's going to come up with this very basic menu. So it says press cross to update it. This means add in your music and videos. Press triangle to empty it. So this means delete them. Press circle to exit. So what we're going to do is we're going to press X. It's going to say updating. As you can see, it's added one video and it's added three tracks. And if you guys remember, that is the exact number of music and videos I had. So now what you want to do is press circle. Press circle again to exit. And then you just want to close down the app. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up and we're going to look for our music app and video app. Let's try videos first. It's the first one. So let's just go and start it. And we can see if I can play that Adventure Time clip that I just got. Let me just mute my audio. If you go into all, you might be able to find it on here. All you do is you press um, X on it, of course, or you can tap it as well, I believe. And then you can watch your own videos through the official app. This is incredibly easy to set up. Now, it's exactly the same with music. If I just close out of this for now. So now let's test out the music app. All you would do is just go ahead and open it. When you open it, it might come up and refresh. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And then you can go into songs and then you can see everything that you've copied over. So this was one of them I copied over. Um, this one as well. 
Uh, I think there was an original God song on here somewhere. Some of these songs are broken. Some of them are from like old, you know, videos I've made. Uh, where's my original God song? As I said, some of them might come up as unknown. I don't really know why it does that. We never know. It could even be unsupported. Some of the MP3 files you might try and copy across might not work. But let's just try one I copied across today. Um, what did I try this one? Does it work? Yeah, it works perfectly fine. So that's pretty much it for this video. That is the PS Vita Media Importer. Really good app for importing your MP3s and your videos very quickly. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.